The next thing that you need to know about resonant is Button's pendulum. Okay, Button's pendulums. Uh, this is an example of Button's pendulums. Uh, Button's pendulum is used to investigate resonance. Eh? Okay, so in the Button's pendulum, we have a driver pendulums. Okay, driver pendulums, and um, we displace these driver pendulums and release it, and it will start oscillating. Eh? And you will find that when this start oscillating. All the other pendulum will also start oscillating. That is because the energy from this this pendulum, okay, the energy has transferred to all the other pendulums through this uh, string uh, or wire here, okay. But out of these six pendulums, okay, one of it will oscillate with maximum amplitude. It should be D, okay. That should be D. Yeah? That is because x and d it has same length now you see uh, the length must be measured from the center of the pendulum bob uh. we do not measure from the lowest point we measure from the center of the pendulum bob okay and this one also measure from the uh, center of the pendulum bob now if the, they have same length then they have same natural frequency that is for the natural frequency of pendulums eh? same length same natural frequency even though they have same different mass for the pendulum bob the pendulum bob have different mass it doesn't matter okay as long as the length is the same then the natural frequency is the same now since they have nat same natural frequency so when x vibrates this one okay it will experience resonance because this is external force okay the external force given to this pendulum bob okay have same frequency and we know that if the external is the external force has same frequency as the natural frequency uh resonance will happen and it will vibrate with uh, maximum amplitude now for buttons pendulums this is a uh, structure questions uh, question two structure questions figure above shows a buttons pendulum which consists of seven pendulums hanging on a horizontal string the string pq okay when pendulum x this is a driver pendulum is displaced and release all the other pendulums will also start oscillating um, the first question is why the pendulum a b c d and e oscillates when pendulum x start oscillating so why this start oscillating uh, all the others also start oscillating okay why uh, that is because the energy from this driver pendulums or pendulum x uh, has transferred it transfer to all other pendulums through the string pq string because the energies of pendulum x has transferred to all other pendulums through the string pq what is a force oscillations okay now force oscillations is the oscillations with the help of external force right so a force oscillation is the oscillations with the help of external force or forces okay questions to see name two pendulums in the figure above that undergoes force oscillations so any two uh, actually any two uh, from a to f okay because from a to f all undergoes uh, force oscillations the external force come from x uh. the external force come from x so from a to f all of them undergoes uh, force oscillations so any two from a to f uh. so it can be a b or a c or b d okay any two from a to f that undergoes uh, force oscillations but not x uh not x x is the driver pendulums it gives force to other pendulums eh? so x does not undergo force oscillations but uh, a to f which pendulum will oscillate with the maximum amplitude give a reason for your answer okay what do you all think let's draw a line eh? let's draw a line uh, the line must be from the center okay okay looks like it's, uh, it's d okay it's d so D will oscillate with the uh, maximum amplitude. Why? Because its length is equal to the length of the pendulum X, and therefore its natural frequency is the same as the pendulum X, and as a result, resonance occurs and pen pendulum D oscillates at the highest amplitude. Resonance occurs. Why? Because they have same length, same natural frequency. Okay, so resonance occurs and oscillate with highest amplitude. Uh, what's the name of the phenomena that occurs? Uh, resonance, right? We call this resonance. Next questions. 
define the fundamentals that you name in E. So it means they want you to define resonance, right? Resonance. Eh? Okay. So if you still remember just now, if you want to to, to define resonance, eh? okay, there are three keywords. One is is a tendency. Okay, is a tendency. Tendencies of what? Tendency for an oscillating system to oscillate with greater amplitude. Greater amplitude. And why? Because uh, frequency of the external force equal to the natural frequency. It's a tendency. Tendencies of a force oscillating system. Tendencies of what? Oscillate at greater amplitude. What's the requirements? The requirement is the frequency of the external force equal to the natural frequency of the system. So that is the definitions for resonance. And make sure that you remember this, okay? This is a very uh, famous question. Usually it will come up in your first test or first exam. Uh, what's the purpose of making the size of pendulum X bigger, bigger than the others? Okay, you can see that, okay? This driver pendulums, the size is bigger. That is because if the mass, the mass of this driver pendulum is high, then it contains higher mechanical energy. Okay, so when it has a higher mechanical energy, then it can make the others uh, pendulums oscillate with a bigger amplitude so that we can see the results clearer. Okay, yeah? because the bigger the mass, the higher the energy that contains, the mechanical energy contains in the pendulum. Uh, so that it contains more uh, potentials or mechanical energy when it is oscillating to cause the other pendulums to move with higher amplitude. Bigger pendulum bob contains more energy. Okay, all the pendulum undergoes uh, damped oscillations and stop after a while. What does it mean by a damped oscillations? So a damped oscillation is uh, oscillations with uh, decreasing amplitude. Eh? Name two types of damping. Okay, we have Internal damping and external damping. Internal damping, external damping. Usually they won't ask you to explain what is internal damping and what is external damping. You just need to know there are two types of damping, that's all. Okay, this is the last question. Sir. In the graph pro provided below, sketch the displacement time graph and amplitude time graph of a damped oscillations. This is also the famous question. Sir. Sketching the graph for uh, damped oscillations. So this is the answer. For displacement time graph, you need to show the displacement. The displacement, the displacement can be positive or negative. This is the amplitude. So the amplitudes become less and less. Okay. And uh, when you sketch, uh, make sure that the the period is more or less the same uh, because the frequency remains the same. And for the amplitudes, there's no negative values. It just shows that the amplitude decreases. It's a curve. Uh, okay. It's, even though this one looks like a straight line okay but it's a curve uh, it's a curvy line so the, the the amplitude decreases over time and finally it becomes zero okay whether you want to touch touch zero or you don't want to touch zero is fine okay yeah but actually what really happened is that it will it will reach zero uh, the amplitude will become zero